Welcome to the ADU software demonstration of the new ADU SPS utility integration program into the base station program. We've started a new session and as you can see we have no registrations, no type, no operator, no indication that the aircraft has been seen or required. The only thing we have on the radar screen is the hex code and the call sign. Minimize the base station and open the ADU SBS utility and as you can see same applies here we have a timestamp hex code with no information just a call sign. Press on the update button you'll see this button now has turned red and it says working the first cycle runs populates the registration aircraft type serial operator with a reference to when the date aircraft was seen along with its location and the last cycle then runs and then that will calculate if the aircraft is required or not required when it refreshes itself it picks up the next wave of uh, in hex codes you could put a tick in auto update and that will automatically append and start the update process again open the base station go to aircraft refresh database for all and as you can see that wave has just populated all the information with the registration type of aircraft operator logo if the aircraft has been seen or if the aircraft is required as a frame the ICAO code types I, pop, I have mine set on the radar screen not on the actual database column minimize that again put a tick in auto update and put a tick in base station refresh database for all and when the update cycle run, runs instead of going to aircraft and refreshing the database manually what will happen is that this program will handle that for you so in other words you could leave the base station utility program open set it to the background have your kinetic radar screen on the front and when the update cycles run this will automatically start appending the information into your base station program it's just doing it now it's just completed and as we can see everything is quite nicely been populated take the tick out of the base station and take the tick out of auto update stop the update that has now paused the update completely we also have an option where you can just display your needs only so instead of having all your aircraft that you've seen before it just gives you a, an example of what's required and as we can see we've got a 747 which is just purely a registration and we have a citation flying around which is another registration however we have a couple of frames as well Norwegian long haul 787 required as a frame if you want to close the frame and registration table down press close that will automatically bring into play the other section we also gener can generate reports say jet aircraft we've got a few blanks there so we'll press exit and we'll just run the update again so it fills them blanks in for us the green bar at the bottom is an indication how the update is progressing 96 completed 100% completed. 
press on the reports press on your jet we've still picked another blank up there however if you want to export that click on either text excel or word click on export click on open and this is the type of report you can generate you can email that to the various email groups you're involved with bizjet tasks or so on and so on press exit say yes to it that will take you to the main menu we also have flight information in this table you can set up your own personal flight you want to monitor especially for those people who live very close to an airfield you can put in all your flight codes with A standing for arrival D standing for departure to and from or from and to you can also delete within this section so say you want to delete the Air France one press exit press the X press close and that will automatically update and delete that information you can clear the entire contents if you want to and start from fresh by building up your own by clicking this button here you can add this will take you to the bottom stick in your new flight code stick in your A for arrival your D for departure and if required your information to and from press exit that will take you back to the main screen you can also add your own operator logos things like flying schools things like Oxford flying school etc stick in the full name what corresponds with an ADU and then stick in the name of your logo and then that will automatically tie up your logo into your base station when this update cycle runs it doesn't overwrite what logos information you put in you can also open the report folder that will take you to the report folder and here it will build up all your reports if this program is left on 24 7 which I have one on one of my machines at 11.58 each day at the end of each day I should say it will automatically generate a report on BizJets and everything else you picked up we also have an edit and remove section which you can remove all your user tag and interested field and also your user notes so just in case you want to share the SQB file with somebody or somebody gives you an SQB file and it's got all their information about scene you can also remove it you press the update maximize the base station as you can see we've got a few more blanks there now minimize it see how the cycles coming on 15% at the moment like I said previously you can put a tick on refresh database for all and that will automatically append all the information automatically in here the update cycles run press refresh and as you can see all the information has been appended a simple program one button technically does it all for you press exit that will obviously close the program down thank you for watching the uh, demonstration on the new ADU SPS utility thank you